Thank you, Madam Secretary, for joining us. And um, I think everyone is concerned about the public health implications, but there are some unintended consequences of the public health campaign that I think we also need to be conscious of. And one of the concerns that I expressed at an earlier hearing when we had representatives of the CDC here was the decision to refer to this virus generically as swine flu despite its origins and the enormous negative impact it's had on our pork industry because of a lot of myths and misconceptions. And yet I know that public health officials have determined that it's easier to get college students attention about the need for getting prepared and exercising precautions when you refer to it by the name swine flu as opposed to H1N1. So we've got these conflicting things going on. And one of the things that I'm very concerned about is how we balance those interests, given the enormous economic implications to states like mine, when people have half-truths and misinformation, and yet the reports that I've seen uh, as recently as this weekend in the Washington Post, uh, Sebelius encouraging news regarding swine flu vaccine, their choice, not yours. Thank you. Um, <laughs> New York Times, one vaccine shot seen as protective for swine flu. So how, how can we address the enormous public health challenge that we're all legitimately concerned about and still address this enormous negative economic impact that it's had on our pork industry? Congressman, it's a great question, and I can tell you it's one that we're wrestling with a lot. I, I hope never out of my mouth have you ever heard that other term, and um, or out of CDC or NIH or uh, the FDA. And I have taken it on as a bit of a personal mission when I'm with media um, reporters and being interviewed to correct them. And, and ask that they please use the terminology that's accurate because there's a lot of misinformation. And we have on several occasions, and I've joined with um, Secretary Vilsack and, and the other side of this, assuring people that nothing at all in this flu is related to eating pork. You can't get it from pork. There's no um, crossover. But you're absolutely right. I know there has been over a billion dollars, if I understand it, um, and that may be very underestimated at this point. Um, and I, you know, we'd welcome any suggestions. Um, I think it's it's easier to do, so they do it. Um, but I I would agree it's a huge challenge, and it has an enormous economic impact. I've even suggested, and maybe you want to um, conduct your own media campaign, that maybe we should um, challenge people to use the right terminology, and you could send them a pork chop every time they use the right term, but take it away. Or they could they... come to the Congressional Rack of Pork Reception tomorrow night in the long run. <laughs> <laughs> and I 